After millions of American men went overseas during World War II, American military thinkers came up with a novel idea, recruit women with a high math and science skill for an accelerated aeronautical engineering program to build airplanes. Today, some of those women were honored, and now Rick Reitzel has their story because good news matters. Five of the 900 women trained as engineers came back to the site that held such fond memories. We started a trend. Yeah. <laughs> as aeronautical engineers was a revolutionary idea and uh, they, they did two and a half years of standard curriculum for en aeronautical engineering in 10 months. Author Jean V. Lemphy is writing a book about the Curtis Wright cadets and she has an interesting name in mind for her book. Oh, it's probably called the Sisters of Icarus. Why? Because they're the ones that stayed on the ground when he went up and burned his wings. <laughs> in 1944, Catherine Atkinson was 21 years old and one of the 350 women engineers working at the Columbus Curtis Wright hangar where the Helldiver was mass produced. That gave me an opportunity. I saw an ad in a newspaper at my hometown of Marion, Ohio that said about the program out at Purdue and I signed up for it. Other than that, I probably wouldn't have gone to college. 24,000 people worked at the plant on around the clock shifts because a America desperately needed to outproduce Germany and Japan. During the war years, the plant became their lives, but when the fighting was over? A lot of them were just told to go home and, you know, go back to making families. And uh, a few of them continued working at Curtis Wright and in the aviation industry, but not very many of them. Their contributions to the war effort didn't go unnoticed. It just took a little longer. And today, 64 years later, they're finally getting the applause they're due. In Columbus, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.